Gary James. Well, it's been a while. Three matches between Oklahoma and BYU. Lost in the Copper Bowl. Lost in the AT&T uh, opening day classic. The first game ever, by the way. A regular season game, that is. In uh, AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium. But then, this time around, in their backyard, in Provo, Utah, this Sooner Schooner sneaks out of Provo and finally beats BYU 31-24 the final. All right, tell you how it happens. Give you some stats and the highlights. You know when. Next. You know where. Right here. 1982 Boomer Sooner. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the football's post-game show for Oklahoma BYU, everybody. You guys know me, I'm Harry James. Well, the senior schooner sneaks out of Provo, Utah against the Cougars and finally beats BYU 31-24 the final. Here's how it looked statistically. Uh, passing stats for Oklahoma. Number eight, Dylan Gabriel led the way with 191 yards through the air. Two uh, air touchdowns, zero interceptions, and a long completion, 55 yards. Did all that, guys, basically. Not basically, he did all that in one half. He did not even participate in the second half. Jackson Arnold played in the second half, the true freshman. Speaking of backup quarterbacks, uh, for BYU and the Cougars, Number 12, Jake Relslaff, 173 yards through the air, two touchdowns, and a pick the other night, last yesterday, and a long completion from 29 yards. For Oklahoma, the leading rushers, uh, rushing game, leading rusher for Oklahoma, 27, Gavin Sawcheck, met 14 cat rushes. 107 yards and a touchdown on a long-distance shot run from 29 yards. Helping him in the land game, a little bit of help from Tully Walker. 29 to Tully Walker, five rushes, 25 yards, zero touchdowns, and a long-distance run from 10 yards. What about this? BYU and their rushing attack. What about Aiden Robbins? Robbins? 22 attempts on rushes, 182 yards on the ground, zero touchdowns, and a long-distance run from 25 yards. The other leading rusher was uh, 12, Jake Rolslaff, 13 attempts for 29 yards and a touchdown, and the touchdown was a 20 was a 23-yard uh, run, I do believe. So there is that one. 10 yards was his longest run. Sorry, 10 yards. Receiving for Oklahoma, here we go. Uh, number one, Jaden Gibson. And number 12, Drake Stoops led the way there. For Jaden Gibson, number one, Jaden Gibson, two catches for 82 yards and a touchdown. Longest completion for 55 yards. And our main guy, the man that will never disappoint, the man that we're going to miss next year, Mr. Drake Stoops, four catches on 63 yards, zero touchdowns, and a long-distance run. Reception from 24 yards. Helping Drell's left do well, receiving for them. What about Cody Epps? Six receptions, 90 yards, 
Uh, zero touchdowns, by the way, and a long distance reception from 29 yards. And Chase Roberts, two catch, uh, number two, Chase Roberts, makes his jersey number, number two, with two receptions for 45 yards and a touchdown and a long completion from 23 yards. All right, so now we've talked offense. Let's do a little defensive breakdowns real quick. Defensively for Oklahoma, number 28, Danny Stutz. Stutter, nine total tackles, zero force fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks from linebacker. And Billy Bowman, eight tackles, zero force fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, but the defensive back did have one pick in the ballgame, and it was a big one. We'll talk about that later. And the Cougars. Uh, Talon Alley. 25 Talon Alley. 10 total tackles. Zero forced fumbles. Zero fumble trevor. Zero picks. Safety. And the uh, other safety. 38 Crew what, Walkley, Wakely. Uh, 7 total tackles. Zero forced fumbles. Zero fumbles recovered. Zero picks, for, of course, from safety. Punter, Luke Elzenga. That was the dude from Oklahoma on four attempts. Averages 46.0 on average. One touchback. Uh, uh, zero touchbacks. One ball landed inside the 20-yard line. And a long-distance punt from uh, 23 yards. BYU. What about Ryan Raylo? Raylo, four punts. 47.0 on average. Three inside the 20, zero touchbacks, and a long distance punt from 53 yards. The kicker, kickers, of course, Smitty, back to his old ways, but he did split them one and one for 50%. Made the uh, 23 yarder, missed a 28 yarder, which would have probably sailed, sealed the deal, sailed the deal, sealed the deal. Didn't make it. By the way, we'll talk about that. Again in a second, also. But first, we'll talk Will Farron, 24, uh, 44 for BYU. Will Farron, 100%, one for one, long distance kick, 49 yards for that young man. No misses. All right. We talked enough stats. Let's get to how we got to a 31 24 final and finally beating BYU. It wasn't easy, but Oklahoma went right down and did it. They scored first. A uh, three-yard touchdown pass from Dylan Gabriel to number four, Nick Henderson. Seven, I think, Sooners. 8.04 left. Oklahoma leads the way right out the gate. But not to be done on Jake Rosloff. 23-yard touchdown pass to number two. Jake Roberts. We got a 7-7 ball game. 305 left and the tie. Second quarter to untie it. Here they go again. Still in the game, by the way. Dylan Gibberell. 27-yard touchdown pass to number one, Jaden Gibson. Touchdown, Oklahoma. We got a 14-7 ball game. Right here. 1306 left. Oklahoma leads. But not to be denied, they do have an answer for BYU so far. Finishing the uh, drive off with a touchdown pass from Luke Resloff, one yard touchdown pass to the tight end number 82, 82 Isaac Rex, 14 14 ball game. We got 349 left. We got a tie ball game. Then with 243 left, Oklahoma answers with a 23-yard field goal from Jack Schmitty. The kicker, Schmitty, made this one uh, with 2.43 left, making the score 17-14. Oh, you leading at half, almost. Then, with absolutely no time left, Will Farron hits his 49-yarder as time expires in the first half. We got a 17-17 ball game. We are reset. Third quarter. 
Now, remember, at this point, Dylan Gabriel is out. Jackson Arnold is in. And he gets some help from the defense. What about number two, Billy Bowman? Picks off Jake Rosloff from end zone to end zone. 100-yard kick return. Or, uh... Interception return for a touchdown with 5.55 left. Oklahoma takes it from their home to the end zone home for the Sooners. 24-17. Oklahoma leads. Right back down goes BYU. Brigham Young, that is. Jake Rosloff. Ties it himself with a 10-yard touchdown run. 24-24. A buck 25 left in the third quarter. In the fourth, though, Oklahoma would take the final lead in this one. 16-yard touchdown run. From Gavin Solchuk with 7.57 left. Sooners. Lead 31-24 and win it by that score 31-24. Now, play it, the plays of the game pretty, pretty simple. Offensive call of the game was the 16-yard touchdown run to put the game away for the Sooners. Gavin Sacha. The defensive play of the game. Not the one you think. Because right before the 16-yard touchdown run, the reason why it was such great field position, Danny Stutzman is stunting to Rezloff, the BYU quarterback, pulls the ball out. Jonah Laulu picks up the fumble and sets Oklahoma up in great field position. And Oklahoma would take that in for the touchdown and win the game. Which, by the way, also keeps the back door slightly ajar for Oklahoma to sneak into the Big 12 championship. But that is the best case scenario. Worst case scenario? What about this, guys? What about sneaking into a New Year's Six Bowl? What can happen? We'll find out if we're playing next week and get the automatic New Year's Six Bowl invite. We'll find that out at the end of the week. With that being said, I'm all done here, boys and girls. We'll ship this out and film it. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. I am also on Twitter, the Hype Man Harry. X, I should say, Twitter or X, whichever one you prefer. And on the YouTube, 1982 Boomer Singer. All right, guys, that will do it for the BYU Post Game Show, everybody. Oklahoma and the Sooners sneak out of Provo, Utah, and finally beat BYU. 31-24 the final. All right, guys, thanks for watching the show, and Boomer Singer, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.